Yo, what is up guys? So for today, we're going to be talking about Destiny 2. Now specifically, we're going to be looking at the TWAB that got released today. And it's a pretty cool TWAB because we end up seeing the Pursuit Armor and the Pursuit Weapon. Which, <laughs> let me tell you, I have a few words for that. But, let's look at the armor real quick. Suit up. A few TWABs ago, Luke Smith took some time to run through changes of our philosophy in doing and doling out rewards through the various activities of Destiny 2. If you'd like the refresher on Vanity, well, you can go to the article that they have right there. Cosmetics and more. Today we'll be focusing on core playlist rewards, strikes, gambit, and crucible. To quote the article, here's what you can expect on November 10th. We are adding a new set of armor for the core playlist, strikes, gambit, and crucible. This armor shares a set of new geometry with decals and shaders specific to the activity. We will create new sets like this each year, except, uh, example, year 4, year 5, year 6. This set will arrive alongside with the new expansion. So here's the armor. Uh, so if you want to know my honest opinion, I think this is a very bad picture. Uh, whoever took the picture, uh, you need to take the picture again. Do the whole, like, all, like, from head to toe i don't understand why you just did the chest and up mostly because the the warlocks for one their chest is not just a chest piece it's literally a dress so you might as well just show us all of that i would love to see the hunter's cloak and i, I want to see how long the cloak is and their boots and the titans i would love to see their boots and their mark this is a really bad picture uh hopefully in the next tab we get to see like a bigger picture of this but in general this is a shitty picture i'm not gonna even i'm not even gonna lie so the cool thing is we do see the ornaments i'm guessing these are ornaments so the hunters have the pvp set the crucible set the warlock has the gambit set which looks pretty cool i wish the green was a little bit more vibrant and then the vanguard set for the titans which is okay if these are the colors that we're getting, uh, they could be better, but whatever. It's honestly what the fuck ever at this point. Um, my my issue is, does this count for like Crucible, Vanguard, and the the Gambit armor set, like the new ones that we, are we just getting one armor set for each of them? Because if that's the case, then this is kind of uh, shitty. We're essentially trading three armor sets for just one that we can customize. Which sounds cool, but knowing Bungie, it's just going to be very surface layered. As in like, you guys can see right here, they have the Phoenix for the Hunters. Most likely, the Gambit one is just going to be this taken off and then the Snake there. For, and for the vanguard it's probably going to be the same thing where it's just a mark for the vanguard symbol and that's it the armor geometry is most likely not going to change with the ornaments if it does then cool that makes it different but i just don't have enough faith in bungie for them to actually change the geometry that much like and when i say change it enough i mean all out like new gauntlets new everything all of it's different like maybe the helmet's completely different maybe the chest pieces all of it's completely different maybe the pvp set for the war for the warlocks are a completely different geometry than the gambit so that's what i'm saying and i don't think we're gonna get that i think we're just gonna get a homogenized armor set that changes like engravings pretty much i could be wrong uh but again i don't see them changing that much of it they're just probably going to change the armor pieces which is probably why we get so little of it considering the titans have just the chest plate uh, hunters have just the chest plate and warlocks just have a small chest plate as well both all three of them actually have small chest plates so let me know your opinions in the comments below but i personally do not have any faith in this armor set looking any different this armor can be earned by completing activities or through vendor rank ups. Ooh. Weekly challenges are also being updated to offer avenues for players to earn higher stat packages for these armor sets. Additionally, year four will see the return of pursuit weapons. For those of you who may have joined our community in the last two seasons, these weapons have static perks, but allow for some customizations. 
The final two perk columns have multiple perks to choose from, so you can tailor your weapon to your desired playstyle. Our eagle-eyed guardians may recognize this beauty from a recent stasis trailer. So, this is fucking beloved. I don't know. I don't know if you guys have been in the community for that long, but this gun came out season of opulence. This gun has been literally used since season of opulence. It has not been dethroned as one of the best snipers in the game, aside from maybe Revoker. But Revoker is literally a pinnacle weapon, so that makes sense. And the fact that they're giving us Beloved, and if before you come at me and tell me, that's not Beloved totally, you as you can see, the, the scope is completely different, this is completely different. Let me tell you guys, this is fucking a combination of Beloved and its ornament. That's really it. It's still Beloved. So the only new thing you can really t like throw at me is the, the, like, like the cloth. The cloth is a completely new granted it looks cool but the fact that like once i saw this the the gems and all this shit, i was like you're really just gonna sell me fucking beloved again not only that it doesn't even change color like the, the purple doesn't even change color so i'm like oh cool so <sighs> i fucking knew this was gonna happen and it just it's annoying and before people tell me they've always they've always reskinned pinnacle or pursuit weapons ritual weapons they've always reskinned those weapons from older sets which is fair very fair they've always done that but you know what's different this season sunsetting weapons that's the difference it feels like you're they're just selling me a weapon that i already like god forbid this weapon drops with like quick draw and snapshot sights if they do that it's essentially fucking it's essentially fell winter's lie all over again just just gonna give people a god roll weapon and it's just gonna be annoying i personally hate this i think the differences in colors is mediocre at best like i you can't even really call this an ornament aside from maybe the cloth that actually changes something um when they said skin i was i was thinking new geometry like new engravings new this and that but it's essentially just a different shader a different shader with like different cloths so if you want to think if you want to know my opinion about this i think this is weak this is very weak i was expecting i was expecting a little bit better than this but i mean whatever at least everyone's gonna get a god roll fucking beloved now so that's pretty much the video they have other stuff down here where they're changing like the directories and whatnot i really don't care too much because they're just dedicating a big ass screen to just two points, which is just a waste of space in my opinion. Like Gambit alone only has one spot and then the other is a, uh, what is it? Private matches. At this point, that's just a waste of space. It's <laughs> such a waste in my opinion, but that's pretty much it. Uh, they did say that they're gonna have 110 uh, archetypes for hand cannons. They're gonna have changes for it upcoming. So that's cool, but again, I think the armor is kind of mediocre. Uh, yeah, kind of mediocre in my opinion, especially since there's so many there's so many parts that like the hunters and the titans and the warlocks all share. Like we all have a knife, we all have this weird thing. I think our fucking belts are almost the same as well. Like it's, mm, I don't know, man. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets links are in the description below thank you everyone for this constant support i really do appreciate it um am i excited for the armor i'm more excited just to see the pieces of it and then what i can use and can't use and i also wonder if the armor has like a base look instead of like you either have to choose vanguard crucible or or gambit does it have like a base look of like just nothing that would be cool but again do not have much faith in Bungo, but you know, might never know. They might, uh, you know, surprise me. They won't. So, yeah, uh, I will see you guys later.